Joy should be too welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Guys, the hot topic today is Simone Biles and her husband, Jonathan Owens. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. We're about to get into some stuff for real. So if you're wondering why they're trending, this all was sparked by a question that was asked during an appearance they both had on the Pivot podcast. The host of the podcast asked them, Jonathan in specific, the husband, how did you meet your wife? And my goodness, the internet did not like how things played out. First off, if you don't know who Simone Biles is, intelligent, athletic, beautiful, black woman. Yes, we give a shout out here to when we when we recognize a good quality married woman, yes. And Jonathan Owens is also another intelligent brother who is an American football player, but both, you know, people who are known. But if you don't know who in specific Simone is, then you'd be put in the same category that they're putting her husband in, which is an embarrassment. All right, so what exactly happened when Jonathan Owens was asked how he met his wife, this. Let's get it. People look at you. Yeah, that's like, you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> how did you do that, bro? Man, it's really, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you're with Freddie. Now it's back. <laughs> now yeah, now you listen, with I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Organic story, man. So I'm uh, I'm about, I just got to Houston. I probably have been to Houston seven months. Um, I was single at the time, you know, so I'm just living, being me and myself. And COVID had just hit. And, but I had just went to Arizona and one of my boys are like, hey man, you gotta check out this app, you know? And I'm like, nah, I'll check it out. Like what is it? It was called Raya at the time. So um, basically it's like a dating app, but you know, you have to go through certain like criteria to make sure that you're who you are. So Raya, Raya sounds like a dating app for the elite. That's what it sounds like. Any other information guys comment down below. Let's talk about this conversation. Let's keep watching. We have been on app for a couple of days, man. And it's like, she pops up and I'm like, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics. So it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's, 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 a, I, I'll see what's up. I swiped her and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay, so I'm going to see what's up. So I go do my workout and I come back and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Showing that high interest right there. Let's keep listening. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone, and then she messages me on the app, like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this got to be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but, like, the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good. If yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real-life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college, and... We didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels. And we're in camp. We're in camp. They didn't like that, guys. Him saying that he did not know who Simone Biles was when she DM'd him on Instagram. Could you imagine that? And I'm saying that because I know who she is, and I don't even pay attention to the Olympics like that. But he's claiming that he did not know who she is. But let's keep listening. Late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Jonathan, I'm going to let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday. And we 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 were texting back and forth. And then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much as COVID happened. Everything was shut down. So um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs. So she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in. I always say we the you. men the catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she. Me too. Drink the coffee. Let's keep listening. She really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you said. Cause I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you. Fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles? Is and, what you're saying. At the time, <laughs> that's what you're not gonna say that. That's what you're saying. I was afraid. I was. I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm. Man, it's my. It's my third year. You know, I'm trying to. Ah, I'm like, it's kind of early. But, you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expected. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly. You know, we just laughed the whole night. All right, guys, that's it. So that podcast was released a couple of days ago, and it took about like three days. But as soon as that clip, this short clip we just watched hit Twitter, TikTok, everyone had something to say about this, specifically the single women. 
and even some of the married women, but specifically, you know, they hated the fact that he called himself the prize, of course. Next, they also experienced secondhand embarrassment from hearing that Simone Biles pursued him harder than he pursued her in the beginning, in the start of the relationship. They didn't like the fact that she shot her shot, that she slid into his DMs. So far, what do you guys think of those two things? Comment down below. And lastly, a lot of chicks are just plain calling him a liar and saying they do not believe that he's telling the truth about not knowing her when he first saw her. My question is, why should he have to lie? Why should he have to lie? And my main point is this. This is what I really think about this situation. I think a lot of women's, modern women's reaction to hearing that another woman who they look up to, specifically a black woman at that, slid in another man's DMs, pursued him, and ended up marrying that man, and she shot her shot. Them looking at that and saying, I would never. Them looking at that and feeling embarrassed for her is telling about how they view themselves when it comes to the dating market and why a lot of these chicks, bro, will not be able to settle down with the type of husband that they want. I guess my question is why choose to look at this situation and feel embarrassment at a woman who got what she wanted out of the situation, a husband, when you don't have one? Why choose to be upset when she's happy in her relationship? You think she should have had more pride, so much pride that she should have been single like you. And then you have the married women who are sending women dead off. Here's some response videos from other women who are upset over the situation. Let's get it. I see a lot of y'all mad at Simone Biles, um, fiance or I don't know what he is, for saying that basically he deprives in their relationship. I don't know why y'all mad at him. He just telling the truth. They did that interview and he basically told us a story about how Simone Biles chased him. So yeah, he is the prize. We want men to be so masculine and this and that, and we, uh, you know, talk bad about men being sassy and feminine. Well, yeah, when they were the ones getting axed out on dates, why? Would, <laughs> if I was a man getting axed out on a date, I would ask for flowers too. I, I'd want her to open my car door too, because I'm her girlfriend now. Y'all make these men y'all y'all girlfriends, and then y'all surprised when they be acting feminine and sassy like they're the prize. They are the prize. You ask them out, sis. You chase them. <laughs> I mean, what, what did you expect? You expected for him to act all masculine after you already took that away from him? Like, this is why I never tell women to chase no man. Like, you should never be proposing to no man. You should never be approaching no man. People ask me this all the time. Like, you never approached a, a guy? No, I never have a day in my life. A day in my life, I would never approach no man and ask him out on a date. Why would I do that and give him the automatic upper hand? No, of course he's a prize. I just gave him the power and, the, like, the whole dynamic. Like, why would he chase me after I just chased him? <laughs> like, what? Like, come on now. So we've got a single woman here who I've seen this. I've seen this chick's videos before, and she likes to champion the whole never chase a man. You are the prize, right? She talks about Shiri Seven, right? That whole kind of gold digger mentality. We've got a single unmarried woman here who's shaming Simone for pursuing a man and getting a husband. Think about that. All based on the fact that she would never do that because she has too much pride. Because if people watch the whole interview, they would see that she met him and she showed why she is valuable enough for him to put a ring on her. Men hold the key to marriage. He decides to get on one knee. He decides that you are going to be his wife. He spoke about her helping his mental health by introducing him to therapy. You know, there was some point where... I know Simone kind of left because she had to get her mental right, but he talks about how she was influential in bringing peace to his life, something that we know these women know nothing about. Of course, I'm talking about the ones who don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. You can choose to look at it like, how dare you not know who I am? Or you can choose to admire her humility because most women, they look at their credentials and what they've achieved. And that becomes a stumbling block in them pursuing the, the, the type of man who's able to cooperate with them. Guys, think about this. If these women were Simone, they would have looked at him and been like, what? You don't know who I am? You don't deserve me. Instead, she played the humble card. Humility. I know it sounds foreign, but it works. And obviously, we're seeing the fruits of her labor. And she's got to be congratulated for that because she flipped the script. He talked about going out with her and people 
handing their phone to him to take pictures of them and her. And he finally saw that she was the real star in the situation and was playing the humble card and waiting for him to catch on to realize what a gift she was. But most of these chicks would have failed right off the bat because they do not have this type of humility. Case in point, let's just, let's just look at some of these comments. Now, these comments here are in response to the video I played earlier. This chick says, seems like she was more interested than he was. Yeah, maybe in the beginning. And it happens like that all the time. Guys, I want you to think about this. Jonathan Owens is 28 years old. He is not at the peak of his earning potential, of his career. And we've got Simone Pierre at 26 years old. She's at that age, that epiphany age where women start thinking to themselves, it's time for me to settle down. He's at the age where he's finally starting to earn more money. He spoke about that. Like, I wasn't sure if I was ready to set it down. I've only been in the game for three years. Probably could be messing with all types of three or fours in the industry, getting women pregnant, spinning plates, building a rotation. But he looked at her and said, you know what? I'm willing to let go of all these other women and choose you. Shows, number one, her game and also the type of value, true value that she brought to this man we got another comment here that says there are only two girls in gymnastics that i know gabby douglas and simone biles i don't like how simone biles husband just played in her face but let me stay out of married folks business god bless one thing that i will say is when i look at podcasts like you know the pivot podcast for example it seems like the type of podcast where men come together and you know you talk your shit sometimes and guys do this People would be like, oh, man, you know, you finally found her. Like, man, you know, nah, man, she found me. You know, then you laugh about it. Like, oh, man, this dude right here. It's, 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 there's, there's some lightheartedness in the way he said that. But I bet if you actually sat him down and had a real conversation about who she is and what she brings to his life, which you see that later on in the, that episode, if you watch it, he would get real about, you know, the value that she brings. So I, I take that with a grain of salt because... We, we all do it, man. Another comment here says, Sir, you are Simone Bao's husband. 9,000 likes. Somebody else here says, She's sitting there smiling like he's saying some good shit. Here's another comment from another woman that says, He's cute or whatever, but Simone is that girl. Saying you didn't know who she is and you're the catch is a level of Delulu that needs studying. LOL. Another person here says the fact that the dudes don't even believe him. Here's somebody else who says, please don't let this 10 second clip change the narrative. He literally honored her the entire interview. Exactly. And gave her thanks for helping his mental health. You can't buy peace. Come on, man. You, you're causing trauma. She's helping heal it. You're causing trauma. I'm talking about the, you know, the modern women out here causing trauma. How many of you guys have experienced trauma from one of these crazy women out here? Well, make sure you find yourself a chick who can help you heal that trauma. She helped his mental health. And I'm not saying that, you know, they're going to live happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. But this whole narrative of, I would never approach a man so I could have a husband. Psh, that's why you probably will never have one. Guys, that wasn't the only chick that had something to say. We've got a few more here. Let's get it. Simone Biles does not bother anyone. She just flips and posts her man. And I follow her on Instagram, so I see her post her man plenty of times. But I have never heard that man speak until today. We the catch. In, I always say we need the man to catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. She is did what you said. So I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, well, Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is what you say. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would you say that? Why would you say that about your wife? I was fighting it. I was fighting it. I was fighting it. Like, damn. Can we be honest here? Most men fight marriage. Most men fight marriage. I just saw a video from an elderly woman who is trying to talk to younger women and saying, listen, men today aren't being raised to be husbands. They're raised to first get their pockets right, get themselves set up, and then after that, they're raised to protect themselves from you. Put that coffee down. You don't like that coffee, but it's the truth. And that doesn't mean that men today don't want to find a good woman, but they know that there are a lot of chicks out here 
who aren't bringing peace like Simone has brought to this man's life. Let's keep listening. Why did you date her then? And then marry her, but free her because she in the room with them. Let's again, we're not going to sit here and pretend like women a lot of times don't pressure a lot of guys for marriage even if he wants to marry you now i don't think you should allow any woman to pressure you for marriage that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying it's okay but this idea that guys just get into relationships and then think to themselves like oh well i'd love to spend thousands of dollars on a wedding right now a ring be stressed out about what's next after that no most guys are a bit cautious when it comes to taking that big step there's a lot of investment that comes from men and they are usually apprehensive even when they look at a woman and say, I'm going to probably marry you, you are a catch. Because the good word says, him who finds a wife finds a good thing. Let's keep listening. That's the delusional smile. That's the, my man got me hypnotized. And I know what he's saying don't make sense, y'all, but I love him. I know that smile. I've done that smile plenty of times. I know, girl. I don't know. Like, I just want my man to be like, I laid eyes on her and I knew that my life wouldn't be the same without her. Anyway, y'all, you can be a goal. That's a movie. That's a movie. That's not real life. Mother winning Olympic athlete, you could be Beyonce and your man is still going to embarrass you. This first commenter says, I love how we are calling him Simone Biles' husband because what is his name for real? Another chick chimed in and said, Sir, you are only known as Mr. Simone Biles. Please, here's another person that says, She was in the room. That's crazy. And she was cheesing like that. So if they were Simone Biles, they would not be smiling because the, 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 the thought of them pursuing a man and initiating contact is way too embarrassing. They think they're too good for that. Next video, let's get it. When I tell you every single time I see a man talk about his wife, his girlfriend, his woman, like publicly, it makes me think I should call off my engagement. It what? really does. I love my man. My man loves me. My man is the type of man to get me ready before bed. But I wonder, is it just a matter of time before we're out and about and I'm made to seem like a clown town? Because the way, the way these men are constantly like, I'm going to embarrass this woman when we're in public. I'm going to do it. It's almost like it's in them. It's natural. It, 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 it's genetic, it seems. And I'm going to tell y'all something my mom told me. I'm going to pass on some wisdom. You can't date a nigga that's jealous of you. You can't marry a nigga that's jealous of you. So now he's jealous of her. They wanted that man to lie. If you're not out here being Russell Wilson, they don't like it. Let's keep listening. You simply can't do it. Because for him to sit on that podcast and say, oh, I didn't know her because I didn't watch gymnastics. No one's watching gymnastics casually. We also kind of just like look at it during the Olympics. But you're telling me, you didn't know Simone Biles, one of the few black gymnasts to make it on the USA team and to break records time and time and time and time again. You didn't know her. You never heard of her being like, we didn't have TV and da, 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 da. Did you have the internet? Jesus be offense. Jesus be offense because I might call off my engagement. If this is causing you to call off your engagement, then you probably should, man. And speaking of Russell Wilson, this next chick had this to say. Let's get it. You know who would never get on the podcast, Mike, and embarrass that wife, this man right here. They would have been like, you know who Sierra is? Oh, yeah, me and my sister used to have one, two step routines. I love Sierra. I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good if. Yeah. Y'all remember that series, if you give a mouse a cookie and all that bad shit happened because you gave a mouse a cookie? If you give a man a podcast, Mike, you don't know who Simone Biles is, read a book. Read a book. It's titled Simone Biles. It's really the catch in... I always say we the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch. When that goodies video came out, I was like, yeah, I used to dance in my room to her music. I used to get ready to game. If you give a man in a relationship that feels like he's less than his girlfriend or wife, a um, podcast, Mike, this is what happens. It's like I'm the catch. It's like I'm the catch simone biles height age net worth achievements husband what's your favorite song when you prep it for the game russ like a boy i love like a boy Let's go eat some simone biles cereal do you have some cereal i don't think so everybody in that room knew you was yo she's got a cereal i'm not gonna lie bro simone biles out here killing it if anything i've learned more about 
what Simone Biles has accomplished, and it's impressive. Gotta give her her props. And on top of that, humble. This is rare. She's got more humility than women who ain't doing shit. <laughs> Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Let's keep listening. Everybody in that room knew you was capping. Everybody in that room knew you should shut the up. Do we even have any partnerships? Is he even a fashion Nova male? Like, what the Man, do do bro like that daily mail simone bow's nfl husband they let you keep going you want to know why because they knew they was gonna get views off this shit they knew this was gonna be some clickbait they knew these clicks was about to go to off and they was about to get paid off yo dumb ass being stupid sierra's so talented my wife got an album coming out september 23rd she has an angelic voice you want to know who will never play in a wife's face on a podcast Russell. If you get on a podcast, apparently, and you you get you have a mic in front of your face, you better start reading poetry to your wife, because you know that's what that's what that's what these women want. That's what Russell Wilson does. Posts a picture of Sierra and writes a whole poem underneath the photo. I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying not every man is gonna do that. Anything other than worship, the modern woman won't accept. <laughs> That's why they're, they're all praying Sierra's prayer. They just don't want a man. They want a, a, a man who's going to worship them. And also, you must be a millionaire. All right. I think we've got one more video that um, I think we've got one more video here that I think is worth playing. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now, he may not have known who she was when he met her, but this is the Simone Biles, Olympic gold medalist. How he puts some respect on Simone's name. But he also goes on to talk about how he's the catch. How did you do that, bro? Man, it's you, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. And this is why I believe that men like this think so. When you, are, as a woman, are pursuing a man, it makes them feel like they're the prize. He goes on to talk about in the interview how, you know, they met on this dating app and she kept messaging him first. She even drove 45 minutes to uh, to come see him on the first date. Like it always seemed like she was in the role of the pursuer. Now, that's how men talk about you when you are the one pursuing them. I always say they chase, we choose. That's why we don't drop down on our knee and propose to men. That's if husbands weren't the prize, then most of you would have one. What's the prize? Something a select few get. And I'm not talking about the man who's thirsting and sipping in your comment section saying, I'll marry you today and I'll, I'll drink your bath water. No, I'm talking about the men you want. The prize are for the select few. And in the context of pursuit, though in most cases a man pursues a woman, some of you might have to do the pursuing depending on what you want. This also reminds you that women think because of your accomplishments and this is no shot to simone bows at all but a lot of these chicks think because of my accomplishments i shouldn't have to do anything other than bring my accomplishments to the table these same women are the same women who because of their law degree and psychology degree because she has three degrees and a master's and a doctorate or because of my experience i have experience and that's why you should want me men don't value those things unfortunately it doesn't matter how many accomplishments you have will you be respected for it yes you should be but when you enter the dating market what you bargain with aren't your accomplishments it's what men value which is what she brought and we're not calling first and and pursuing men approaching men that we meet out in the wild you don't do that because this is how they talk about you they feel like oh my goodness she must really think i'm something like you don't want them you don't want them to start sounding like this uh, i thoroughly wanted a relationship i just did not want you a romance it's not, it's not that uh, no. a relationship is not what you want i just didn't want with you with me okay there so we go let okay. me say with me praise yeah. god it makes that much difference it does. No, no, no. I said you. Like, I said wait, wait. I don't like you. Wait, yeah, Stop wait, looking wait. at me like that. I wait. don't like you like that. Not what you want, okay? But this is what happens when women pursue men. They think that they're the prize. You can't convince this man that she's not lucky to be with him. We don't even know who he is. Listen, guys. As always, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think of this topic? Much respect to the married couple, Jonathan Owens and Simone Biles. What I do, right? What I do expect, guys, just because. What we've got to understand is women spend the most money and they keep the economy going. So what can we expect from Simone Biles' husband? Well, probably an apology. you will probably get on and, and like have to apologize for what he said. Maybe he won't. But because he relies on 
pleasing the gynocracy in our female-centered economy, and you don't want to offend advertisers and etc. This might hurt brand deals or whatever. How many people are going to want to put him on a T-shirt or you know a product and such? So we can expect an apology and like, no, I love her. Blah 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 blah. Um, we'll see. Maybe not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.